Hello and welcome to CloudChamp. In this video, we are going to learn about the EBS volumes in EC2 instance. So EBS is Elastic Block Store and is one of the storage options inside an EC2 instance. We are going to see what EBS, EBS are and what are the different features in EBS. In the next video, we are going to see what are snapshots and how can you create a snapshot from an EBS volume. So this is going to be a series of videos on EBS. And if you want to learn more about EBS, you can check out the videos on my channel. And if you have not subscribed to my, not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel because 85% of my viewers have not subscribed yet, which is not a good thing. So please subscribe to my channel and let's start with EBS. So EBS or Elastic Block Store are volumes and you can consider them as a pen drive or a USB stick. So the idea is you can create volume, you can create an EBS volume and you can attach it to any of the instance. So an EBS or Elastic Block Store is a network drive that you can attach to your instance while they run. And it allows your instance to persist the data. Persist means you can keep the data even if the instance is terminated, even if the instance is deleted. And they can only be mounted to an instance one instance at a time. You can have multiple volumes to an instance but but you cannot have a single EBS for multiple instance. They are, they are bounded to specific availability zone which means you can only use your volume if your instance is in the same AZ as the volume. So think of them as a network USB stick which you can attach it from one instance to another like you do with your pen drive or with your USB. You store your data in a USB drive and then you can attach it to any other laptop and you can start using it. Same, similarly, you can use EBS volumes that way. So let's go and launch an instance. So if I click on EC2, I am right now in my EC2 service and I, here I can click on launch instance option. So I can click on launch instance option. I can click on give this a name EBS instance and I want to have Amazon Linux. The thing that we need to look here is going to be the storage option where you, where you get EBS general purpose storage. So we are going to learn about the different types in EBS which are general purpose, provisioned IOPS, magnetic store and cold HDD. So we are going to look that in the next video. You can check out my channel for the videos. So now I am going to launch this instance giving it a key pair my EC2 key. I don't want to change the network storage. I am using the existing security group and here you can configure a storage so you already by default by default you get 8 GB of storage when using the Linux and you get 30 GB of storage when you use Windows instances so I right now by default I have 8 GB of storage but I can add more volumes I can add more EBS volumes so I can add more EBS volume of let's say 8 GB or 9 GB 10 GB whatever you want but it cannot be less than 8 GB so 8 GB is the limit you cannot have 7 6 5 4 so you need to have 8 GB of storage and it can go up to 100 GB, 200 GB, whatever you want. So this instance should have two volumes now. So I'm going to go here and click on launch instance. So my instance is going to be created and I have two volumes attached to it. So let's see that. So you can see my instance is in pending state, but if I click here and go to storage, I can see two storage attached to it. And both of them are attaching right now, both of them having volume size 8 GB 8 GB so this is done when you create the instance but what if you want to attach an attach a volume to an existing EC2 instance that is already launched how do we do that so let's let's take an example of this instance which is Postgres here so I need to attach a volume here so let's say add volume I'm going to name this but this is an existing instance which is not launched right now so it's already running I'm going to attach an instance to this I'm going to attach a volume to this instance so to create a volume, you have to go here in the volume section under EBS or Elastic Block Store and you click on create volume option here. So here I can select what, how much storage do I want. I can make it 100, but I'm going to keep, uh, to keep my bill low, I'm going to select the 8 GB. So you can, you can see we can select any, so I'm going to click on 8 GB. All right. You can select what AC do you want. So you need to make, you make, you need to make sure that your instance and your volume are in the same AZ because volumes are availability zone bounded. So I'm going to select 1D because my instance is in 1D and let me show you that. So my add volume. So my add volume instance is in US East 1D. So I want to keep keep my volume in the 1D itself. If I use any other 
uh, availability zone this volume will not be attached to the instance and i also have the option to encrypt my volume which means this data the data that is stored in this volume is going to be encrypted all the data that is stored is also encrypted we are going to learn about encryption in the next video in the next video you can check it out on my channel we are going to learn about the encryption in the next coming videos so i'm going to click here and i'm not going to encrypt it now so i'm not encrypting it now i'm going to click and create volume here so this volume is now created and if i refresh i should see if I refresh, I should see the volume, which is this. So 0C, 0C, 0F. And you can see it's an available state, whereas all the other volumes are in in use state. These two are in available state because they are not attached to any of the instances. You can also see that in attached instances option and they are not attached. So to attach a volume, which is created to an instance, you can click on actions option, click on attach volume. And here you select what instance do you want, want to attach. I want to attach to, to or add volume instance and i'm going to click on attach volume now if i go to the instances and i go to add volume option i should see an extra ebs volume attached to it so i already had a single so it still says single let me refresh this and right now so this is my add volume and let's see if we have the instance in here or not so i'm going to click on storage option and you can see there are two instances there are two volumes attached to this instance. This is how you create an EBS volume and attach it to an instance. So this is what we did. We, we already had, we launched an instance with an EBS volume. Then we created our own volume and then attach it to an instance. So you can create new volumes and attach it to the instance with this process. So next is delete on termination attribute. So if I go to instances, if I click on, if I click on the launch instance option here and go to storage option configure storage i can click on advanced option and here you can see there's an option known as delete on termination and you can make it yes or no what this option does is if you enable it delete on termination this volume is going to be deleted when you terminate your instance when you delete your instance but if you disable it if you make it no which means even if your instance is deleted your volume is going to be there if you click on info you can read about it that it says whether the volume should be automatically deleted when the instance is terminated or not. So you should select yes if you want the volume to be deleted because if you don't, if you select no, volume is going to be there even if the instance is deleted. So this is how you create attach uh, EBS volume and we have also learned about delete on termination. In the next video, we are going to see how to create snapshots of the volume. So snapshots are backups and we are going to learn how to create snapshots of the existing volumes. Uh, and how to encrypt them as well so let's see so for if you if you found this video help if you found this video helpful please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos on cloud and devops thank you